Welcome to another Disruptive Discourse video. The two companies that I'll be talking about today just agreed to merge. This merger will virtually create a monopoly in the live streaming and esports industry. Douyu and Huya announced the proposed merger on the 12th of October 2020. Both companies are huge players in the live games, streaming and esports industry. Tencent owns a significant stake in both companies and effectively encouraged the merger. Cathy Wood has also recently invested in Douyu by purchasing 450,000 shares just this Friday. On that date, Douyu was trading between $14.96 and $15.59. So in this video, I'm going to tell you about both companies and what they do, what the growth potential is, what the risks are, and what my view is, and whether I'll be investing. So, Douyu International Holdings Limited and Huya Incorporated are both Chinese companies that are available to trade on the US stock market. Both companies are esports and live streaming platforms. They make their money based on the monthly average users that visit their platform through advertising revenue similar to YouTube. The essential ingredient that attracts viewers to their platforms are the streamers that actually use the platforms. Viewers come to the platform to see the streamers and both companies usually have long-term contracts with these streamers, probably around three to five years contracts. And these top streamers attract a huge amount of viewership and also they attract mid-tier to lower tier streamers who also grow into top streamers which in turn creates a pipeline of streamers and viewers you get the picture as for the growth potential live streaming of esports and video games is a fast growing industry the industry itself grew from 8.1 billion yuan in 2017 to 20.8 billion yuan in 2019, which amounts to an annual growth rate of 60.25%. By any accounts, that is a phenomenally fast growing industry. From 2019 to 2022, it is also expected to grow at an annual growth rate of 33% each year throughout that period. So there are significant growth prospects ahead for this industry. Now with both companies joining forces, they would likely account for 80% of the total market share of this industry with nearly 300 million monthly average users. This would make them the platform with the largest and most popular streamers on the combined platform and they'll be able to finally bring together streamers previously exclusive to each platform and create unique sporting and gaming rivalries through cross competition. All in all, this would create a more compelling product as one unit than it was as two separate entities. Now looking at the risks, as always with most businesses, competition is always a risk and a threat. One of the major emerging threats is from Kwai Show, a fast growing leader in the short video streaming space and one of the hottest startups in the live streaming of esports and video games. Also, not forgetting Amazon's Twitch, which dominates the US market for esports. Another risk is that these platforms are heavily reliant on getting and keeping popular streamers on their platform. So as competition hots up for these streamers, it forces the companies to pay more, which increases their overall operating costs, especially in relation to the cost of keeping the streamers on their platform, higher revenue fees and content costs. Another risk to take into account is that this is an Asian based company so it carries geopolitical risks which should never ever be underestimated. The TikTok saga is a classic example of how geopolitical 
issues can impact on individual companies. As for my personal view, will I be investing in Douyu or Hoya? Well, for me, this is a very attractive investment. And whilst I haven't pulled the trigger just yet, I think the future growth potential is a huge attraction, as well as the fact that platforms like this carry a lot of stickiness. Whilst it is possible for streamers to switch platforms, I suspect they would be very reluctant to do so. They've already built huge followings on their chosen platform, so I can only see an upward trend in growth. If and when I do pull the trigger, I will let you know. Full disclosure, I have no positions in Douyu, Huya or Tencent. This is not financial advice and you should always do your own research before getting into a stock or seek the assistance of a financial advisor. If you've liked this video, please consider liking, commenting and subscribing. I would consider any of those gestures a huge reward for my time in creating this content and if you've done any of those already, thank you. I'll see you in the next video.